All right. Huzzah! All right, we'll go and uh, collect that momentarily where our little flashing star is. But let's finish off this last puzzle. Seesaw. Hmm. Now, first impressions of that would be balancing a box in the air, but let's just see. This side. It's got blue this side. Okay. I wonder if we can. Like, does this directly connect? No, it's not protruding. Oh, uh, oh no, it does directly connect. Okay. It does directly connect. I'm guessing then we're going to have to use a connector here. The idea is we set both of these connectors up like this. I believe. Or actually, we could probably do. We maybe don't need to actually. We do need to. Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. give up with the rap game and go into applesauce creation. Okay, I feel like... Okay. Maybe not. Oh. What a 
somewhat, because we've got crisscross there, haven't we? Lasers go through bars, no, possibly. buddy. So now I've got that though. Maybe I can... have that. This needs to point to this one. And then we can take away this. We should still need to avoiding co-pilot co with a 10-foot barge pole. Oh, hold on. Did I not just do...
Pond Kick connections. We'll do that. That. And then, I don't know, put it like... Yeah. Then maybe swap the connection. Go back to what you said, uh, Team Spen. Uh, I'm not looking at achievements until after I've finished the initial playthrough, so if there are any kind of like achievements for puzzles and things, um, we'll be looking at them after the playthrough is finished. Alright, so that is all the puzzles done in this area. And we have a shiny to go and look at over here. Every answer leads to another question. The last answer leads to the first question. Okay, so we have that hand still. Have I missed another hand thing? Turn it back down to 60 frames. Like it's still choppy a little bit. Okay, we've got another hand thing over here. I don't know if I've missed it possibly. Hmm. No, I definitely did everything on that. Okay, so. We have, there's one of the star, which is over here. Now, what I remember, we need a green. So, I'm just trying to think back. One of the bonus puzzles, oh, where's that other connection? There was a connection in the sky as well, isn't there? things weird as well. Beep boop. Here's a connector. Okay. Death wish. So I'm gonna say 60, 68, 4, 5, 2. This sound like this connected because where does it go to? That's the thing. I get I get that it goes like this way. This isn't the way I mean. I follow the follow the path. And there's another connector up there. Which then in turn connects to over here. A very difficult line to see, I'll be honest. I 
Okay, it's there. Okay, so I'm guessing this has a green. Okay, that gives us green laser. Well, let's now follow the laser back. Yep, and that redirects it over to here. It's a lot easier to follow now, I have to follow. So that just brings us the green laser over here, right? So which is the closest test to here? Well, not just the closest test, I guess. We need to have a... All right, we can possibly see this from eight. Possibly. Let's have a look, see. Yeah, okay. So, let's... Take them away from there. He does not down. hunt because he is hungry. He hunts because he revels in death. Okay, so... So, puzzles are all done. We've done everything apart from the golden puzzle again, which I don't think we have access to anyway at the moment. Um... One thing, though, I haven't found here, and I can't remember what they're called, but we haven't found the... the other thing. Assuming that there is one on every level. There was, like, the other glitch thing that we found on the, um, the first area. So you're in the top left-hand corner there. We've only got one. Got something else here a minute. I know I keep playing around with stuff. Like runs better and a smaller resolution, but I gotta up the graphics because the graphics look not good. I 
degree to play around with this off stream, I apologize. I mean, definitely running a lot better, but it just doesn't look very nice. Okay, so yeah, it's one of the, the shard things I, I still don't have here. be something that we've just completely missed. So are we uh, ever going to get an answer on this death wish? Yeah, at the top of the hour. The top of the hour. Giving everybody plenty of time to consider, and I gave a hint that Porphyrius was the closest so far after you. Yes, so. Uh, Trying to say poorly? Uh, uh, well, you weren't crazy off, but Porphyrius was much closer, and Beamsman went on the banana boat ride into Never Never Land. <laughs> yeah, 300,000 votes. Yeah, I would have cashed that in key. already. Could try using Friction it on those terminals inside the puzzles. Inside yeah. the terminals in the puzzles? Yeah, I'll say that uh, if you could if you could run this game on all high settings, that would be incredible. Like you have one of the latest, greatest setups, much less streaming that. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. That's, oh, okay. So, sorry, cut you off. Um, the thing I was looking for is actually that Prometheus Spark, but it, um, it's just a puzzle skip, isn't it? So, I don't really need it, I guess. Uh, is that what those are for? Uh, I think I thought, so. I, I, I thought they were to skip puzzles, but that's one thing I don't want to do, is skip a puzzle. Uh, I want to be able to figure them out. And, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm not using any of that. So I, I'll, right. I'll, I'll stick with just playing it, solving every one. Yeah going from there. Time for some... I, I found all these to be super easy, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not... I don't really think they're particularly challenging. I mean, it's an interesting take on the original. Yeah, no, I, I actually kind of like them, since... Man, they're putting a three-dimensional three version of the... Sit, uh, what do you call them? Circles, Cigar whatever. Steven Cigars. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, but yeah, I just have a natural instinct for these things. I guess it, it, they these. Well, obviously, yeah, they they're gonna get more and more, but. Uh, yeah, even then, they, they're still not. Blah, 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 anyway. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, that's that's my way of not saying what? anything. I shouldn't say. <laughs> I mean, you, you, could, you could already... Uh, I mean, like everybody else has played past this, you could already guess. And you would probably, probably be 100% correct in your guesses of things. 
Sigils, yeah, it's pronounced with a J. Sigils, yeah, that sounds right. Alright. Let's enter the tower and see what beast awaits us at the top of this one. Okay, you can give up to 24 puzzles at once. Wow. Yeah. I have to say, I'm not... I'm not skipping any. Halt, creature I'm not of gonna clay. do it. It's you just have not strayed my nature. from your garden and entered a domain that is beyond your ken. Turn back now, before you harm yourself and others. Do you like the Sphinx? The Sphinx speaks in riddles and knows nothing but mysteries. She has questions, but no answers. Prometheus had no authority to summon you. He is rash and foolish and given to trickery. But his schemes lead only to ruin. Therefore heed my warning. The flame is not for you. is not for you. Now let's see we need to know more about this for the future of Jerusalem. You seek the flame of enlightenment, but remember that fire can also burn. That'll just be another war zone. I feel kind of rude because I never asked who she was. So I mean, this Pandora, obviously. How many um, of those bloody things are there? Uh, that, that's the that one question Pandora, I did ask. Which matches but, the other one yeah, being Prometheus. They seem to be locked in some kind of conflict. Might be wise to avoid getting caught in the crossfire yeah, until we understand what these lot. entities actually are. Alrighty. Let's head on down. Going through a wormhole. Or in this game, an elevator. Wanna see something <laughs> funny? Sure. I won't go much further in case I need to double turn back. Is this something that happened to you in your uh, playthrough, LB? Where you got soft locked? Ah, oh, I'd love to see that. Head to the bonus puzzle loop and you can usually get a cube out of the left side and take it to the transport system. Okay. Go have a look. Ah, oh, interesting. I haven't really made too much of an attempt at the minute to like break elements out of the puzzles, so... You know you can, just like in Portal, you can jump one cube across. Right, let's see what Byron's got to say. Hey, 1K. It's clear that there's some kind of antagonistic force in this place, something that doesn't want us to discover the purpose of the megastructure. Perhaps that's part of the testing. Or... Perhaps it's what's responsible for this state of decay. That's a good question. Prometheus is often taken to represent freedom and progress, the ideals of the radical enlightenment. Pandora, on the other hand, usually represents the dangers of those very ideals, so they're counterparts in a way. And the Sphinx, the Sphinx is a mystery. Does that mean that these entities correspond to these concepts? Perhaps. They certainly seem to act like it. But Athena isn't the goddess of Athens. 
and I'm not Robert Byron, although those are the origins of our names. Where does myth end and history begin? We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out indeed. All right. Uh, this is puzzle four. Is this loop? Oh, that comes to the wrong bonus puzzle. I come to the wrong bonus puzzle. Of course I did. Okay, we have arrived at loop. Now we need to break the cube out, so... The thing about doing the puzzle is that all of the... blue barriers are down. It's a low wall. Sorry, I'm looking on the right, aren't I? Ah, yes. Okay, I have the hexahedron. Interesting that, like, when you. Something I noticed that I. Because I've got a puzzle element, it still technically considers me to be in a puzzle, I guess, maybe because I haven't gotten the official way out, so I haven't actually got my compass in it. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll leave it to somebody in, in our social group. An LB. He's the... He's the lost boss, or the last bot. You will never know. He says LB doesn't stand for anything, but we all know it does. Does it mean? We can only guess. It's the final puzzle of the universe to know what LB stands for. Is that is that the final puzzle behind the golden golden gates? Uh, it it decipher, must be decipher the code of LB's what well, LB's name really stands for. Uh, right, so take it to the back left side of the transport shelter. Yeah. I'll say that the hexahedron, aka cube, basically, they do also work with the Magnus effect, just not as well as as fear. Box shouldn't be tilted. Sorry. 
<laughs> box is not tilted. Oh, it, it tilted all right. Now it's not. Can you put a bow on it? Yeah, I'll be there. It's been some patches because I haven't played. I played a oh, lot. Oh, sorry. I thought you said. Sorry, I apologize. I thought you said move it towards the railing. Sorry. Yeah, since the second time I played it, which I put a lot of hours in. In a row, I have not done anything, but I've updated the game quite a few times. Some of them were like one point some gigs and just, you know, this and that. But anyway, go ahead and knock. That's right. We've got the opportunity to speak at the minute. Speak. I cannot. We want it to be kind of like a little bit nicer. Uh, turn everything up to high. Yeah, because that's, that's not going to go wrong, is it? Let's be honest. No, I, I think it'll be just fine. Max it all out. Oh, wow. You're, uh, on my screen, your head is looking like Max Headroom back in the 80s. Wait a minute. Whoa! They didn't patch it. <laughs> I guess that was, that's what you was talking about, about that you could just do the tower before solving any um, any puzzles LB, right? Uh, what did you just do? <laughs> you didn't see that? Uh, yeah, I, I actually kind of missed it. I looked away for like half a second. I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Uh, hold on, let me uh, plug it back. So... Obviously, it was at the transport a minute ago, and we somehow managed magically appeared. It was at the tower. <laughs> uh, yeah, box reset. Basically, you can stand on the box here, Deathwish, and you can look back at the tower, and you get a prompt to jump. So you can literally jump. Do like a, an Omega jump all the way over to like in front of the tower. Uh, okay, so yeah, I caught that part where you went like zoom. Yeah. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I never would have got that. That's one of those, uh, <laughs> that's one of those things that I would expect from somebody like LB. 1K brought <laughs> up an interesting question earlier. Where did all the tech I try, I've, I've tried stupid things, so, but... I had a look at the serial numbers. Um, and it turns out yeah, the answer is... Not enough. You had something like sold. that, so... Oh. That's pretty cool. Wow, that, nice I, fire, I guess LB. that makes sense. After the explosion, the colony was abandoned. Nobody ever went back for all that stuff. But I, I can't wait till we you get to the puzzle to that I know I broke to so see if it works. So that's one question answered. But how did they go from scavenged Alexandria tech to all this? How did we go from nothing to where we are now? Through the application of reason and the right tools. Through the application of reason and the right tools. Oh my goodness me, what is this thing?
All right. Look at the size of that structure. How does the material support so much weight? Is it the same stuff as the other buildings? Yeah. I know it looks like some type of concrete, but the molecular structure is completely different. Whatever it is, it's a lot stronger and less brittle. Are the labs made out of the same material? No, that's just ordinary concrete. <laughs> Although it does have some molecular weirdness going on too. Too little variation in the grain. That's our next challenge, is to get that star in our pocket. Jeez. It's a big boy. All right, well, I'm going to follow the... Um, straight across the land for a start. Follow this laser line. See what we can uncover over here, I guess. A lot of these areas remind me so much of the witness. Yeah. As you're going through, I mean, you know, the trees, the colors, that sort of thing. Yeah, a little less cartoony, though, I would say. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. Witness I has mean, the kind of like that cartoony vibe about it in some places. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't it's... disagree. Let I mean, this is obviously city. many years after that, what is but. City? It is not a gift from the gods. For, for me, for whatever reason, gives off that kind Unlike of vibe. Unlike a mountain so, yeah, or a river, anyway. it is something that it's must be city. built through the deliberate it's arrangements of material the gods, the by a mind imposing by order on the world. And it is built to serve a purpose. To that end, it has roads and fountains and walls. And to the same end, it has laws and leaders. And though each city is built according to a different plan, all cities must serve their purpose, or they will fall and become ruins. Therefore, we may conclude that a city is also a kind of machine, constructed to improve the life of its citizens. Okay. Sorry, I'll be... Yeah, so... That's what I was following. And does that also connect into the big one as well? Okay, that goes over this direction as well. Interesting. Very faint line. I know you said that you couldn't see it because of video encoding, but really difficult to even for me to see. that sky thing looks like the old puzzle jacks all right sneaky so that's doing that um as long as this this is puzzle number three some story time. From Hippi Hippat Hippatia's journal, volume one, the founding of New Jerusalem, day 42. We broke ground on the first of the permanent structures day, a large hall that will eventually be converted into a performance and exhibition space, my idea. Although for now, we'll use it as a workshop. It's strange, it's strange, this place. There's a lot of open space and I don't think that I would find it so unusual. I didn't think I'd find it so unusual, but I suppose we all spent more time at the dam than was originally planned, and now it's difficult to get used to not having that low ceiling over our heads. It's probably just me. Byron loves being outside, and he's always volunteering for scavenger missions. Lith... 
Lithrasia, Lithrasia, usually tags along, although he seems more fascinated with observing nature and various wild cre weird creatures. At night, I sometimes catch myself standing by the door, not because I have, have guard duty, just watching the stars. It's oddly, oddly comforting to think that they have always been there. They've watched our ancestors standing where I now stand. Well, technically the stars potentially haven't always been there. Because don't stars, like, constantly die and be born? Um, from Miranda to 5358, we've finished setting up the external site at the lake. Okay. The area is so stunning we forgot about the experiment for a while and went for a long walk. The way in which we all... We, which all the different aspects of nature interact with each other are endlessly fascinating to me. And the sheer variety of living things, even on a simple green meadow. Thirdly, we then stumbled on the carcass of a deer that had been torn apart by wolves. It must have suffered enormously, and thinking about that made me, me feel truly terrible. There is so much pain in nature. Uh, ecosystem engineers cutting down the swathes, swathes of trees for their building projects, thoughtlessly causing radical changes to large environments and forcing local species to adapt to their artificial habitats. These are the traits of the species of intelligence, industrious, and extremely impactful ecosystem engineers. Humans? No, I'm talking about beavers. Like us, beavers transform their environments via building, and their actions have real consequence, creating vast westland, wetlands, and some species thrive in, while others die. Human activity is very similar. We too are ecosystem engineers, and we too benefit some species and to benefit some species while harming others. Everything about this is completely natural, including the damage to other species. After all, that's what competition and evolution is all about. Those species that adapt to the ecosystem we create will over, over the coming millennia become the core of a new biodiversity. And so the evolution runs its course. If we don't like the result, if we think some species should be preserved despite being out-competed, out well, that's anything but natural. It is, however, very human. Miranda, it's fascinating how much, how so much of what we do is common in animals, but furthered enormously by our intelligence and our ability to remember. Through us, the universe strives to be a greater level of complexity. Does the universe have the capacity to strive for anything? We must be careful to avoid protect, projecting human values into the cosmos, onto the cosmos. Don't oh, miss the who 5358 is. All right, so let's go and... There was something mentioned there about, like, the... Something on the lake, and I don't know if that's just... I don't know if that relates to, like, this area or not. I don't know if that was, like, a hint maybe to where the lab was in this area, but we'll uh, keep on exploring for the time being. As we do with all of these new areas we stumble across. I do kind of wonder how far we can uh, walk out here if we die. I don't particularly want to die just now. Yeah, I think we just like double back to where we were previously. helpful. Okay, we tempted. Alright, my waterproofing wasn't as good as I thought it would be. <laughs> All right, as tempted as I was, it clearly I can't go over there. The island was teasing me.
They're one of the stars over here. Ah. I feel like that's telling me there is a secret right here on the X, so I potentially got to find the perspective for that. It's fine. Hey, here's one of the lost puzzles. Transposition. Okay, we have a new element here. This is an inverter. Okay, so this is what we saw in the previous lab. So this is the thing that takes one color and it turns it into another. So I'm assuming the colors it flashes I'm with are the the colors it will invert. So green, uh, sorry, blue to red. You're a goddamn genius, Gump. Why, thank you, sir. This is weird. Hmm. What happens when an inverter gets a green input? Yikes. That's what happens. Just just yikes. Okay, that's all well and good. I don't know, that should be bootstrap now. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Okay. So we can now pass this through. I mean, let's move that temporarily, reboot scrap that. I didn't get what, like, what this cable was doing, but I guess it just means that we need two inputs to open the fence. So... We need to do a swap on the inverter and this connector. I think is the play here. So, let's swap these around. We'll take that, aim it there, and aim it there. And then we can move our G 
Gemma. There we go. Oh. Good. Let's get some measurements from this particle cloud. Let's get some measurements from this particle cloud. 